Good morning, everyone. And let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Pour into our hearts, O Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit at whose prompting the deacon, the deacon Saint Ephraim, exalted in singing of your mysteries, and from whom he received the strength to serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy in the love, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The mouth, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. But the mouth of the just tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the vine and you are the branches of the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear a mark. Jesus said to his disciples, 
A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from bronze. A good person, out of the store of goodness, in his heart produces good. But an evil person, out of the store of evil, produces evil. And from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Today we celebrate uh, uh, St. Uh, Ephraim. He was a, uh, a deacon and doctor of the church uh, way back when. He founded uh, a theological school. He was also a poet and uh, wrote uh, liturgical music, which is still in use today in, in uh, the Syrian liturgy. Uh, so we, we celebrate his oneness and in many respects uh, the gospel passage uh, uh, certainly reflects he was a person of good fruit and uh, what he proclaimed the church embraced and people of God were enhanced by his theological insights and wisdom today uh, we certainly need more of that, of uh, being uh, hopeful and a person of action. Today is a primary day, and I pray that uh, people who are uh, who gone out and protested, people who have. Uh, uh, been angry um, on both sides, here's a chance, and a very important chance, to go out and now be a person of action by voting. And in that way, I think all your energies will come to fruition. Uh, that we have a privilege here in our country that many of us do not take advantage of. We are probably one of the lowest free nations in terms of people voting. And so I ask you to go out and vote. I'm not asking you how to vote. I'm asking you to go out and exercise your privilege, and I believe obligation, to go out and vote. Vote for who and what you want for our country. Uh, again, St. Saint, Saint Ephraim was a, a person uh, of high standard and of honesty. And so we ask St. Ephraim at this point to intercede for us as we try to live out this Christ-like life that we will bear good fruit all the time. My brothers and sisters, let us ask Heavenly Father to hear our prayers of need, not just for ourselves, but for all our brothers and sisters. Warmed by God's radiance, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For parish communities, May they glorify God in good works of compassion and justice, we pray. Lord, we are our prayer. For Christians at work, may they bring gospel flavor to the world's marketplace, we pray. Lord, we are our prayer. For cities and their citizens, may they shine together in the search for unity among their diversities, we pray. Lord, we are our prayer. For the forgotten poor, May they receive their due share of God's abundance, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and forgotten, may they taste the healing grace of God in the company of believers, we pray. 
Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the dead, may they behold the lamp that lights the universe. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray in a, a special way for uh, Mr. Tan, who uh, uh, died yesterday morning, uh, and for his family. Um, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for more vocations to religious life and priesthood, especially in the Society of Mary, our USA province, and our Maris family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that remain in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you to grant them in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mystery and water and wine, may we share in your divinity as you offer yourself to share in all humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and with right heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, may our sacrifice in the sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and praise the Lord for his name. For I have given the Father's holy church, may the sacrifice which we gladly present on this feast day of Saint Ephraim be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves eternally to you in praise through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And, and lift up your hearts. And, lift them up to the Lord. and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Ephraim you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of the angels and the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Archbishop, Joel and Bernard our Auxiliary Bishops, and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his herald, with the Apostles, the martyr St. Peter Chanel, Pope Pius X, St. Ephraim, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, disciples, friends, you say to each and every one of us, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be upon you always. Amen. And let us offer to each other some sign of Christ's saving and loving peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Keep me always faithful to the commandments and never let me be parted from you. And behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room. Only say the word of the gospel. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
And let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, our Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on this feast day of St. Ephraim, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Uh, I have uh, a couple of announcements. The uh, prayer service uh, is at 7 o'clock uh, tonight. Uh, uh, so I, I ask you to uh, please, uh, uh, is it on Zoom? Facebook. Facebook. I'm still bad with all this stuff. Uh, be there then when we pray for peace, justice, and equity. Um, I was also uh, Molly and uh, Benny, my Benny, my business manager. It's their forty-first wedding anniversary, and wish them all continued health and happiness. And uh, um, Lisa and Ed will not be pleased that I'm going to mention them, but uh, we pray that indeed that uh, Lisa will continue to uh, uh, experience great health. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and live a just full day.